Meet Mrs Gibney, a 60-year-old grandmother from Ballyfermot. Mrs Gibney is your classic grandmother, except she wants to achieve something unique. She wants to become an actress, a Fair City actress. Throughout this documentary, we're going to follow her footsteps and see how she gets on. Well, I'm here because I want to get into Fair City. The first step Mrs Gibney decides to take is to join a drama class. Class, that would be Mrs. Gibney. So, as, as per usual, guys, we're just going to let Mrs. Gibney say a couple of words about why she's here. Um, uh, you're very welcome. Just tell us just a couple of things, Mrs. Gibney, um, about yourself. Just a couple of sentences. Don't be shy. Oh, no, I'm okay. I'm very, who will I look at? Well, just yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, I mean, look at me. Yeah. Oh, all right. Then. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm here because I want to go into Fair City. Oh, oh, okay. And I thought if, if I can get into a drama class, I can probably go into Fair City. Now, I'm not looking for that in hedge, you know. I, yeah. Like, I watch Fair City all the time, and it doesn't seem very hard, you know. They just have to say things like, okay, I'm going into Micaiah's, or I'm going into the corner shop for a bit of hair, or that kind of stuff. So I said, well, I can make a few bob at that, you know, because I did it in part as an extra. And, and and it was, you know, I found out the other actors were getting paid an awful lot more, you know. And I said, well, I'm sure I can do that. And I wouldn't mind, like, they were making mistakes and all. So, because they can't be able to, to get to, to, you know, they can, if you make a mistake, you can do it again. Yeah. So it's not be easy, you know. Oh, oh okay. Well, well, that's great. Um... Have you anything else to tell us, Mrs Gibney, or are you just here for Fair City? Yeah, just Fair City. Unfortunately for Mrs Gibney, she doesn't seem to get on with the entire class. I did, maybe just look for the other ones, you know. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, but I'm kind of in a rush. I mean... Yeah. I, I, okay, well, maybe, Mrs Gibney, would you mind then if we if we could just get back into class? Because we, we think we've probably heard um, enough at this stage. We might just get you to come forward here. Uh, this group of four here can just come forward and we'll just play a quick game. And I would like you to name as, as many things you can with the letter F, okay? This is just a quick warm up we do, Mrs. Gibney, to give you an idea of what we do here in class. So if everyone can circle up together and you have, I'll, I'll count to five and as soon, and as, soon as I've done that, um, you, you start naming things that begin with F. There was Correct. no need for that. Okay, thank you. And whenever we're ready, on the one, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Francis. Fudge. Um, Fish. First lady. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, first thing, no first thing in the class, please. Hey, it began with F, so it didn't really seem to be mine, did it? Okay, let's try a different letter. Um, can, can we can we try maybe beginning with um D? Dick. <laughs> Dick was graceful. Do you like that mean? Dolly. Dan, Dave, Delilah. Rory Street. Dublin. Did you say Dolby? Were you talking about me? Oh. Okay, let's try Southern. a different one. What about S? Listen, love, I don't think this class is going to walk out for me. Sorry. I think I'm a bit too old. Like, no, you know, no, it's, oh, it's grand. Grand. I mean, you know. Oh, he's grand. He's just, he's, don't he's a grand boy. He's all right. He's all right. You're in a rush. Yeah, 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 you leave one anyway. You are in the class. You know what? I think it's just jealous of you. Pay good money for this class, I think. You know? I'll pay good money for this class. Yeah, so do we all, though. You know what I mean? Try. She's an audition for it. We've heard about how much it costs. She's 62 you know, like for God's sake, give her a chance. You know what you cost here, my pension to get it. Yes, it takes a long time to save to do this class. Well, you know, especially with my lady living with me. I'm oh, sorry. Hmm? You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, that's really bad. I don't that's think this room is setting anyone in this. In sorry this about that. Yeah, I know yeah, it's only yeah. supposed to be a bit of crack. You said it was just a bit of crack. We had a bad day at work or something, don't, don't mind. We had a bad day at work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we Best maybe just... just Put me in a different group. Yeah, I, I think that might be. Don't go do that. I'm sorry for upsetting everyone now. I didn't think I was going to do it. After a rocky start, Mrs. Gibney is excited to get started on the tasks she's been set. She even heard there's an audition she can do next week, so she gets started practicing. Lovely now. Just get myself now a nice cup of tea because um, 
And after I've been doing loads of my homework, you know, I've been reading this book now. See this one? It says movies in 15 minutes. It's taken me a lot, not longer than 15 minutes to read this, I have to say. But, you know, we'll get through it in any way, as they say. So I'm going to get myself a porridge tea. You know, because I deserve it. I've been reading all day long, trying to learn lions, you know. And now, do you see this now? I've got my old grey tea bags. None of these lions tea bags for me now anymore. This is where all the actors drink, you know, very posh. So, I'm going for that now. Bit of style, you know, bit of class. See this now? Super milk. It's cost me a fortune now to get all the stuff that the actors do do drink and eat and all, you know. But it's an investment, isn't it? You have to speculate it humanly, as they say. So, you know, I want to make sure I'm healthy and all if I'm, if I'm going to hit the big time, you know. Because there's loads of stars out there, you know, like Jane Fonda and all. They're all around my age and they're still going strong. So, you know, if they can do it, I can do it, I suppose, you know. So, here we are now. And I've got myself a few nuts and a few seeds. Wait till I show you. Yeah. I'm getting really posh now. You see this walnut? Right, not just peanuts, walnuts. I've got granola here, right? And um, and that's it. I'm, you know, I'm laying off the, the no more burgers or sausages or rashers or any of that business, you know. So I'm going to get myself in sheep, and then um, hopefully that will be a bit of a help in any way, you know. I'd love to do something about this around my face, you know. Make, if I make a few bob and fair city, maybe I can get a bit of Botox on this or whatever. So that's what I'm hoping in any way. Who knows? She is blackening my name in the village. She is telling lawyers about me. Why mournest thou? Good fuel for my brother's death. I think his soul is in hell, Madonna. I know his soul is in heaven, fuel. The more fuel, Madonna, the more for your brother's soul being in heaven. Take away the fuel, gentlemen. I have no clue what's going on in this, I really don't. Immediately. Hesitation of any kind is a sign of mental decay in the young, of physical weakness in the young. Here's Johnny! How do you like them apples? Finally, after all her practicing, the day of the audition has arrived. And while waiting, Mrs. Gibney has the chance to chat to the other actors. Are you Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you know, you wouldn't always get paid, Mrs. Gibney. You know, you have to you have to put the work in for a while before you get paid. All right. And you get paid for Face City, don't you? Very yeah. good. Very well Very paid. Well. Very well yeah. paid. Yeah. But that's all I want. I just want to go into Face City, you know. What would you What would you like to play in it? I just whoever you know, they give me a name, and then I will just play whoever the name is that they give me. Right. You know. Yeah. But would you? Is there any sort of character you'd like oh, to yeah. be? Yeah, I'd love to be like. I don't know, Paul's mother or something, you know. What I've seen they... it for years, so I'll probably get a good old lash out of it then, you know, be yeah. in it for a while. Are you be in for a while? Well, I'd, I'd love to have something like that, you know. Every week, be in it every week. Love, Mrs. 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 Gibney, would you, do, would you like a steady gig like that, that you know? That you to be in it all the time. Yeah. To be in it all the time. I was doing the, I did the extra on the the final moments before the audition, and Mrs. Gibney gets some last minute advice from the other actors. Yes, they're so nice in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. They're so lovely. How yeah. many How many of them are there? Yeah, I mean, the song went really well. You sang? Yeah. Don't go, dear. Don't go, dear. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks. 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 Um, what so for Kelly, you went for? Um, I went in for uh, what's her name? Uh, Maura. Yeah, Maura. Yeah, yeah. But they asked me to read for. I Juliet. wanted to read for Maura. They said I was a bit old, Kelly. What age are you? But I, I, yeah, I can play up and down. That's what I was saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a week to take yeah. off the glasses. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. Maura's take like twenty-four, the so you could. She, there's a mother part. Julia? Oh yeah, I go for the mother part. Julia, yeah. But there's more lions, you know, there's an awful lot to learn. There is, yeah. But so I was thinking I could do the young one, you know. It's very easy though, Julia. Yeah, we've never Julia. Met, uh, I'm, I'm not very I'm made, neat. by the way, I've um, yeah. never met on the circle before. How are you doing? How, how are you, love? What's your name? Mrs Gibney. Mrs. Gibney. Mrs. Gibney. Lovely yeah, to, lovely to meet you, Mrs. Mave. Yeah, Matthew, Mave. pleased to meet Matt, you. Matthew, how, how are you? Yeah, how's how are you? And is this your first time doing an audition now? Oh, God, I wish. No, <laughs> no. no. We've been no. doing the cattle call for a while now, yeah. you know. What's the cattle call now? Well, you kind of get used to seeing the same people at auditions all the time. Oh, right. Yeah, right. yeah. And are you real actors? Are you extras? Are you just... <laughs> Or do you do, are you in drama school? Oh, or is he still in school? Do plays and things like that. Do yeah, plays. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. kind of plays? Play? School plays? So. Yeah. Community plays? A bit of Shakespeare and Brian Freel. And... Shakespeare? Yeah. Hell yeah. Bye. Bye. Finish up now, I'm afraid, guys. Gotta go. That's it for the end of the day. We might get to the end of the time, okay? Okay. okay. Is that the end of it? Are you going That's to it? give someone an honour? Don't call us. Unfortunately for Mrs. Gibney, this audition wasn't for her, but that doesn't get her down, and she decides to go and see a play at the Abbey Theatre. So here you are at the Abbey Theatre, Mrs. Gibney. How does it feel to be amongst such illustrious people and names? Well, I'm actually the fourth one here because I'm fairly excited. It's my first time going to see a play in the Abbey and I can't wait. I usually go to see the Pantos and stuff with the grandchildren, but now I'm getting into the fine arts, you know? So I'm in here now, I'm going to see Wheaton for Goddard and I can't wait. I heard this brilliant, the top actors in Ireland are in it. And I'm in here now, under all the pictures of all the famous people and everything. And I'm hoping one day now my picture's going to be up there, you know. After I do my stint in Fair City, maybe they give me a job in here on the stage or something, you know. So I'm hoping that I've got me, I've got me studentry and I'm delighted with myself. And now that the two buyers, the two new fellas apparently, not that I knew who was in here last, but there's two new fellas now, their names are Graham and Neil, right? And they're supposed to be lovely and they're doing cheap tickets and free tickets and all things like that. You know, free previews. I didn't even know what a preview was, you know, but I do now. Free previews for stuff and everything. I can't wait. It's very exciting, you know. The only thing is, there's an awful lot of junkies outside. I thought there'd be people there now with their four coats and all this, you know. But there's loads of just junkies out there and they're cutting off the wheels of, of bikes and stuff like that. That, you know, it's not as posh as I thought it was, but it's still Freddie Goats and, they, uh, and, they, and it's a national theatre, right? and there's a lovely man over there, Jim, he's the nicest, nicest man, and uh, uh, he doesn't want to be on the camera, don't, don't be putting him on the camera, because that's not very really nice, he didn't get his permission. So you're looking forward to a bit of high art, Mrs. I Gibbon. can't we, high art. Yeah, where would you be getting it? Was high, it, was, it was far from high art, I was right. Not right. But what exactly did Mrs. Gibney think of the play? Went on forever. And he never came. The man got that, he never came. And this is where I wait for God to come. And he didn't come, he didn't even come in the second half. He was saying, I've nothing to hang myself, you know. Have you got a bit of string or something to hang me to? And it's like, we'll just take our trousers off, love, just do something. Because I tell you what, if you don't hang yourself, I'll hang you. You know? Oh, God, it goes out. Do people actually enjoy watching this thing? Well, didn't you feel the sense of 
ultimate human despair and the... I felt despair, alright. There's no doubt about that, yeah. I felt like killing my own self, if that's the, if the truth be told, you know. I don't know why they wouldn't, wouldn't just go off, you know, just go somewhere else. Should have said to the little young fella, listen, we've waited long enough, you know. We're not waiting any longer, time to give us a ring or something, you know. Going on and on and on and on and on. And maybe I'm outside and I'm listening to people and they're all saying, oh, it's great. Oh, I really, I really love this Beckett and Beckett, you know. And I'm like, if I see Beckett, I'm going to spray it out of him. Do you know, I mean, whoever this Beckett fella is, I don't, it, there's nothing going on in the thing. Absolutely nothing. You know, a bit of a story. That's all we needed, a bit of a story. But isn't that a, a sort of a reflection of life? That really, nothing happens in life. Things do happen in life, love. This week in drama class, Mrs. Gibney tried out new accents. Let's see how she got on. And of our accents here, you know, we've been practicing. So I think um, let's try a little bit of the, the Northern English accent. So we've been tr been trying that one. Have we? She's very good at that, isn't she? So uh, you sound like a woman who will cut niche in the street. You'll all have your turns. Oh, you're very good. She's very good, isn't she? Thanks, Mrs. Gibney, and hopefully you'll be very good too by the end of class. Uh, all right, back to the deep northern accent then. All right, let, give us a go. Yeah, put baby in pram. Put oh. baby in pram. Very good. Mrs. Gibney, would you like to repeat? Put baby in the pram. Oh, uh, no, let's just try that again. Let's try with just put first. Put, put. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's try uh, maybe a. Will we try maybe a different? Just give us another. another. Get sheep out, Land Rover. <laughs> Get sheep out, Land Rover. Let's try Land Rover. That's a good one. Land Rover. Land Rover. Lord. Say land. Land. <laughs> no, no. Now, okay. Uh, let's try maybe. A, what about the general American accent? I can do. Yeah, that's a good accent. Yeah, I'd love to be able to do that. Maybe I can get a job in Hollywood then. Something, you know. Because, you know, Jane found it now. She's out there. She's <coughs> about my age. And she's still going strong. So, in our general American accent, can you perhaps. I like. Say, I like In N Out Burger. That was a good uh, maybe McDonald's then. Can you say McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's. Yeah. No. Uh, what about Burger King? Burger King. Yeah. God. Okay. Um, no, but, but you know what? Um, maybe Mrs. Gibney will try a, a different accent then. What do you think? Uh, so you, you, you're not moving off that, that one very fast. Look. Okay. Well, we, I mean, we can try the American one again. We can try. Um, uh, what about? Um, <coughs> she's not getting. She's not getting. What if she wants yeah, to try? Get it, get it. She, she, she wants to try. What about London then? Oh, if you were from yeah, London, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skibney, yeah, that's, yeah. that's how they say your name in oh, London. Yeah, I could get a job in EastEnders or something like that. Well, who knows, Mrs. Skibney, you could be the next dot. Oh, so, she knows so, she's a bit older than me. Okay, well, why don't repeat after me? In London town. In London town. No. And um, let's try a different one. Did I get London, Ray? I no. Land London. Say London, Mrs. Gibney. London, like you're London upstate. <laughs> not Sounds like that, doesn't it? You're London upstate. Uh, so, Mrs. Gibney, try, not, not, don't think about landing as such. Just repeat after me. Landing. 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 Oh wait, wait, I tell you what, I'm dying here to go home and show Laddie. When Mrs. Gibney gets home, her son Larry informs her of an audition she can potentially do. This really excites her. Good. Yeah. So I saw this on Crooker House. Crooker House. 
Yeah, the, the, the website that yeah. for, for auditions yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's on Lady Film, the family. Oh, ah, very good. Yeah, they, 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 they sent me an email about it, but um, I used to use Crooked House a lot. It's oh, very really? good, yeah. Oh, it's very really good. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to many auditions? No, this is actually my fourth one. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I've been to three. Oh, very good. Do you, do you break it down? Like? Yeah, I still know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
She said Nearly was good, but 16 was very bad. What do you mean, bad? No, I don't understand that bit. That's what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> what don't you understand? What does that mean? Um, what it doesn't mean? matter, love. It, it really doesn't, doesn't actually. Do you know, just keep Nearly just was going. Oh, sorry. Sorry, can you start that again? Yeah, go for it, yeah. <clears throat> Whatever you're ready. She said there was two, Mealy and 16. She said Mealy was good, but 16 was very bad. What do you mean bad? It's why it's called 16. That's when she turns 16. She'd get a knife and stab everyone. Oh, away. fuck off. I didn't know it was this kind of stuff, love. I can't be doing stuff like that. After a long day of auditioning, Mrs. Gibney finally goes home, but on the way home, practices for her drama class, because last week she found out they would be putting on a show. I'm reading plays for me drama class, I'm reading this one now, the play of the Parnell Street, very good, very good, it's about a fairly, uh, a, a woman and a, a man, and uh, they're from Dublin. They're very good. The language is very good. Sounds like me. No. Well, love the person and No, it's just very authentic Dublin, you know. Very good now, because I've been reading an awful lot of rubbish, you know. I mean, they're making me read Shakespeare and, you know, Marco Rowe. No, he's not bad, but it's his very dirty language, you know. It's a lot of coursing and that. I don't like when they be tracking coursing all the time, you know. How about Shakespeare? Shakespeare, no, he doesn't course Shakespeare, but he, like it's very long drawn now, you know. And then I'm reading this one now. I had to read this one, Glen Gary Glen Ross by David Mamma, you know. Out of the country. I do this one. I'm looking forward to reading Top Girls. What's the name of it? Top Girls. Top Girls. Yeah, Top Girls by Cuddle Church. Because so, I'm trying to get myself a part on Fair City. You know? Yeah. Do you ever watch Fair City yourself? Oh, I saw it at the old time, yeah. You see it, do you? Loads of taxi drivers are always saying, yeah, me wife watches it, but you know, if you ask Martin about it now, they know everything about it. It's like it's not a shame to say it's watch Fair City. And you still watch it, I know you'll be watching it. Because you know everybody in it. You know what's going on, the storylines and all that business. You do watch uh, it, don't you? Sometimes we have to watch it. Yeah. Give you something to talk about your customers, I suppose. Look, you for an audition for Fair City. I'm hoping to get an audition for Fair City, yeah. I'm trying to find out who does the auditions, you know. What Shakespeare has to do with Fair City? No, Shakespeare has nothing to do with Fair City, but apparently you now if you want to be an actor, you have to learn all about Shakespeare and, and Dave and Mamma. And Marco Rowe and Sebastian Bernie and all them. Who? I'm going to get much money from Fair City. I hope so, love. I, hope, I hear there's a lot of money in it now. You know? I mean, I did a bit of extra work, and apparently now they get paid a lot more than the extras. Yeah. You know, you had to be up pretty early you now to do the extra stuff. Really? You know? Yeah, you'd be hanging around. That's I'm, the only thing. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I mean, uh, well, I was watching it last Sunday night now, right? I was watching it because I, I taped it. And um, I was watching it and um, I saw the, the back of me, me, me elbow. Oh, very good. Yeah, it's a bit, so I'm hoping now next week maybe I'll get the full arm in and after that maybe I'll get the head in, you know? Yeah, no problem. I'd love to get my whole body in, you know? my whole face, I can tell all the family, you know, because I'd be saying to them, I'm going to be on Fair City tonight, and be all sitting there watching, you know, and then all they say is the corner in my jacket, and they're saying to me, I thought you were in the programme, and I say, yeah, you just missed me, and they're saying, I didn't see you, and then I said, to them, that was me, do you remember the blue jacket? <laughs> but sure. Over the next few weeks, Mrs. Gibney spends her time reading plays and practicing her lines for her big show. To be or not to be, that is the question. But 
تركت سنو في لغين بالما يمت شاكن شايك سبيح I don't understand why you have to do all this so really don't, you know? Shakespeare called it with me, yes. After a few weeks had passed, Mrs. Gibney decides to make a call to see if there's any news of her audition. How are you, love? Is there any word back from their audition? It's been a few weeks now. Haven't heard anything. But I was hoping, you know, if... If they didn't pick me, at least they would have told me why, you know. You heard nothing? But I suppose no news is good news, isn't it? How long has it been? It's been about three months now. What do you think? Do you think the part's probably gone at this stage? Uh, I suppose so. Ah, well, thanks for trying, love. I'm with an upwards and anyway. So maybe we'll get the next one. All right. I'll chat to you later, love. God bless. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. 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 That's an awful pity now. I was hoping to get some good news, you know. It's not looking good though. There was no feedback and I did see a new character on Fair City around my age and had the same name that I was auditioning for so that woman probably got the part. Maybe she was more experienced or whatever you know. I suppose that's the way it goes isn't it? That's show business. Ah well, I'm with an upwards. You'll get the next one. With that audition not looking promising, it looks like Mrs. Gibney might have made it on her own. As tonight is the night of her big drama show. Technical rehearsal, is it? Right. So what does that mean, love? Oh, it's for the lights in the sound, all right then. I just want to ask you about my costume. Oh, okay, love. I'll talk to you later then. So here I am now in my dressing room, waiting to go onto the stage. And I'm, I'm very excited and I'm very nervous. But please, God, it'll all go well. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are all very welcome to our show which is a showcase of different monologues and duologues and other scenes from our class. We would like to ask you to turn off all your mobile phones and please wait there until the interval. Do not go out to the toilet during the show. There is a fire exit behind you and then there is one on the right hand side where I am looking right now. The show will last an hour and then there will be an interval for 15 minutes and then there will be a second half for another hour. So we hope you enjoy the show. Sit back and relax and enjoy the show. God bless. Thanks very much. Lights are shining in my eyes. Are they supposed to do that? I can't see any of the audience. You're supposed to not be able to see it. After a few teething problems, Mrs. Gibney begins to get into the swing of things. Like the corners of my mind. Misty watercolored memory of the way we were funny but I don't want to be funny I want to talk seriously with the rest yes I don't want to spend the night coming on with the funnies that's because that's the only way I can get into the conversation I didn't come to your house just to play the court yes was the hope drunk wearing you dress shots and had it slept since awakes and now to look so green and pale I what I did so freely 
From this time, such I account thy love, art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valour as thou art in desire? When I saw the others, I want to see it stop. In that memory, the water of the brain shall be a fuel, and the receipt of reason a lion that come me. So it wasn't for a city, but she did a pretty good job.